Hello Teachers on Fire, today I'm going to show you how to make a fun welcome to my class sign in Canva, including a cutout of you with that very fun white outline around your face and your image. Here we go. So we're going to open up a browser and we're going to type in canva.com. Hopefully you have registered for your amazing free education account. We're going to type create a design and choose YouTube thumbnail. Now, there's really no reason why you necessarily have to use this shape. I happen to make YouTube thumbnails a lot. And so I noticed this fun template, but as you can see, there are many, many templates in YouTube thumbnail and every other size of poster in Canva. So here we have the idea right away. You sort of see where I'm going with this. I'm going to get rid of this image of our lovely friend and replace it with one of my own. So I go to uploads and I find this picture of myself in a classroom and I sort of put it roughly where I want it. Although we can obviously move it around here in a moment and we're going to remove the background. So some time ago, you had to go to an external third party program to get that done. But now Canva allows you to do that right inside the program. And I'm going to write here, welcome, if I, if I can type, welcome to, to Mr. Cavies. Looking around my, wow, this is really, really painful here. Why is it so painful? to Mr. Cavies and I'm going to hit shift control left arrow. That's a trick I learned some time ago that works in Google Docs and slides to resize text and hit class. So that's basically what I want. Make sure that's approximately centered. It looks good. Now, what about the white outline? Go back to edit image and shadows. Select glow, change your glow color to white your blur to zero, transparency to 100, and size to about 10. And that's about the fun, I mean, you can go higher obviously, but that's about the fun place right there, the sweet spot at about 10 and apply. So you can already save this as a PNG and you are finished. You also have options to save as a GIF. You can animate this, you can put moving video behind the image. You can really bring it alive, but if you're going to just print a poster for your classroom door, this is the way to go. Save as a PNG, maybe up that quality a little bit and download. And there you go. You are done. You've created a fun, electrifying classroom poster in a matter of two minutes. Have fun.